OK, let's go over to the house rules. The children are very excited about moving into the new house. They don't know that we're going to have new rules and new expectations. I think that the kids are going to be in a bit of a shock. This here says house rules. This is what we are all going to follow in Did this you house. Make that? house. In our new house, this is what Did you every... Make that? Lawrence? Lawrence, come here. Make like that. Yes, Bring the children over, please. Words. I'd like you all to look at me, please, because I'm going to say something. Mum and Dad are talking to you about the house rules. I'd like you to listen, stay in one place, and do as you're told, OK? This is your warning. If you choose to not to listen to what I am saying right now, then I am putting you straight into discipline. Right, stand up, all of you, please. Now, we are going through the house rules. How respect about music? Our home. You don't have to respect the exterior. We have to respect every corner of this house. Oh, even this corner? Oh. OK, how is Christopher going to listen to you? Christopher, listen here. When I'm, when Ask him mom, to look at you, OK? Look at Daddy and Mom. Look at Daddy while I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's not right, Christopher. Why? That's not right. When Dad, Mom talk to you, you don't listen to you this way. Let me Is keep he being it. disrespectful? Is he being disrespectful to look yes. at you like that? All right? <laughs> to look at your father like that and to pull that face is being disrespectful. I'd like you to look at me, please. You're going to end up sitting on the reflection chair and being disciplined. Christopher still showed attitude, even after a warning, so now it was time for discipline. Down. Come down, please. I'd like you to explain to Christopher why he's in this reflection chair. What is it that he didn't do? We want you to be a good kid. We want you to grow up properly, be a useful person to the, for the society. That is, that's definitely great stuff, but for now, he needs to know what, why, why he's you here. Stay here. You stay here for nine minutes. You're here because you didn't listen to me. There's your book in there. I'd like you to write down why and the effects of it, please. You know better. The children do one minute per their age in the reflection chair, writing about what they did wrong. After the reflection chair, the children go to the communication couch to talk about what they wrote. OK, when Jojo tell you, when Jojo's talking and tell you to do something, you're not listening. You do your own things. Do you think it's the right thing to do? No. OK, is that the same thing you want people to do to you when you're talking? Do you want to see that happen? What do you think now? And what are you going to do in the future, Christopher? Mm, I'm going to listen to Jojo and do what she says and what, do what you and Mom says. And again, let's hug. Uh, yay! <laughs> I'm done. Well yeah. done. Thank you. That was a fantastic analogy. Thank you. And you sat down and you explained and you asked him to look at you when you were talking. That was fantastic. Thank you. Wonderful communication couch. Wonderful. Wonderful. <coughs> and I realised this woman had no control. <coughs> Nothing. I don't think that Forrest really knows how hard it is for me because he has gone to work 